Well, 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 here we go, here we go. Uh, oh, let me move my microphone. I think it's time to do the return flight, is it not? So back out of uh, the lovely, oh, hello. Out of the lovely Larnaca. Uh, for some reason, jetways aren't working. Don't know why. Uh, I've probably balked a setting somewhere. Uh, but the rest of the scenery is working absolutely beautifully. Obviously, it's all toned down and, and whatnot, which is why it's looking a bit janky. But, um, yeah, got to do that for Concord. I have made a few other improvements that might actually help us in the future. Uh, oh, hello. The tree's not loaded in there by the looks of it. Well, let's not look that way. Uh, so here we are. This should be a lot slicker. I'll split this video up into two parts. We'll do the uh, departure and climb up to cruise. And um, actually, we might do it in three parts. Uh, the, then the transition, um, because it's a bit weird. Because once we get to the top of the Aegean Sea um, near Venice, we need to decelerate. Uh, from Mach 2 down to subsonic speed and then uh, also descend to an altitude which we can sustain that um, to then fly over over the Alps, uh, south and west Germany and uh, sort of over Luxembourg, Belgium way and into Heathrow. So I've done all the planning so we don't have to do, um, don't have to take you through all of that and so far in the cockpit all I've done I've connected ground power and ground air um, and I've sent uh, and I've loaded the fuel, loaded the passengers, we're a little bit heavier today, um, around about 61 tonnes of fuel I think it was and our max uh, and our uh, zero fuel weight's about 8 tonnes heavier than it was on the way out, uh, so a little bit heavier. I've gone and put a, a load more fuel in again. Uh, but yeah, still not confident but we'll see uh, we shall see what happens and we're offline uh, again just because I want to get this video done and then uh, once I'm happy with that then I can start adding scenery adding uh, other aircraft from that sim in um, up until the point obviously that it becomes unworkable uh, for future flights in Old Pointy, uh, it would be nice to do the Iceland rotation again. That's uh, that's quite a nice short little flight. And to be honest, over to JFK's no longer than this flight we're doing now. So, um, yeah, it's in the same sort of ballpark figure, really. Uh, so we can uh, certainly do that when we get to do the Canarsi climb. And maybe in the future, on the new flight simulator 2020 but we shall see whether or not uh well whether or not concord will work on that uh, i highly doubt it uh, but whether or not fs labs release some sort of um patch or upgrade or something to allow us to use uh, concord in microsoft flight simulator 2020 uh, I highly doubt that that's going to be anytime soon, though, because uh, from what I've read very briefly, uh, everything has changed. It's it's a whole new game completely, so nothing's a copy and paste over from the uh, programming point of view, at least. Maybe. Um, and I've done our takeoff uh, data stuff as well and keyed in. Uh, you can see here, oh, if I zoom in actually enough, you can see our fuel flows for the uh, four respective engines. Remembering that uh, the number four engine uh, is slightly powered down, not very much, but just ever so slightly um, on departure uh, to just reduce the vibration a little bit on that engine. So let me just get my checklist up in a reasonable spot. There looks as good as any onto the screen. And, oh, I've just clicked the wrong button. And we will have a look at getting off the ground. Hopefully off the ground in the next uh, sort of 15 minutes or so. So, here we go. Uh, static heaters all come off. Drain masters are all off. That's fine for now. Uh, door is open. We'll put the signs. No smoking and fasten seatbelt signs. Come on. 
Transponders in standby, everything's in standby. Good, excellent. Grain power is on via visor lever. Uh, it should be all the way up, which it is. Uh, air data can. Uh, sorry, gear is down. Obviously, the gear's down, but it's important to note that the gear lever is also down, because uh, otherwise, when we suddenly get hydraulics, some interesting stuff could happen. Oops. So, air data computers go on. Pardon me. Andre Masters are off. INSs can come on and we can get them into Ligny. Hello. Uh, standby, standby, and standby. Uh, so if we flick these over to pause. Yeah, I appreciate that, that I can only just see the text, but I know where the angle of the dangle needs to be. Um, and I can key in our position into here, or I can be turbo lazy and uh, do it using the hidden click. There we are. So that's our position on one, two, and three. So now I can flick all of these to a line, which is left click to pull the button out, right click to rotate it clockwise. Wonder if I can get this thing working today. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, our flight distance is 2032 nautical miles. Let's call it uh no it's not our grain distance I want, it's our air distance. Do I know what our air distance is? Probably not. PFPX for the win. And our survey says yeah, PFPX is crapped out on planning of this route, but I've got enough done to, to get a route in that's valid, so I'm not worrying about it too much. It's moaning because we're taking a really long route. Flight plan distance, 2042.1. Ah, go away. So we'll round it up a little bit. Mm. See, now I've killed it. Oh, I'll never figure out how that works. Googling it sounds uh, far too sensible. So what we can... Uh, I'll tell you what, no, let's stick to the checklists. So, checklist Amundo. Train masters are off. INSs, right. INSs are currently aligning. Uh... We've currently got 95, 95, 95, 95. We've probably got to clear a load of warnings. Actually, there aren't any, surprisingly. But anyway, that is now aligning. Not going to bother with any of that nonsense. And we'll load the cards in in a bit. Throttle Masters. We're going to go on that one this time. can never remember which click goes up, which click goes down, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, high pressure cocks are uh, shut. So these big, whopping great big ones there. Uh, take off CFG switch. Uh, we won't have touched that. And not that one. Uh, it's not that one either. It's that one because it's behind the cover. And our number four limiter is normal. Although we are about to change that. And ground idles go to high. Engine control schedule. Now, this is a good question actually for Larnaca. Because we're going straight out over the sea. So I wonder whether we wouldn't be doing a flyover departure. So I'm going to leave it on normal. But I'm not, I'm not sure on that one, what the noise procedures were. But anyway, 
we'll figure it out. Uh, hydraulic AC panel, DC panel. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, so let's get rid of that one. Let's pull up that one. We'll turn the water heater and the galleys on. Uh, we'll go to Grand Bypass on that one. And everything else is on and dandy. Uh, remembering that the batteries are still off at this point. So steering light is on. Auto land is off. That's good. Rad INS is a to rad. Um, the nav frequency, it would be handy, actually, to have Larnaca, which is 1128, 112, that's a bit loud, hang on, let me turn that down, let me just shut the door, because the washing machine's about to go nuts, oh, okay, oh, never mind then, um, so 1128 is Larnaca's uh, VOR. So we'll stick that in there. Um, we shouldn't need it at all. Um, auto throttles. Uh, sorry, not auto throttles. Reheats are off. Oh, sorry, no, it is auto throttle. Auto throttles are all off. Is that what they should be? Yes, it is. Instrument transfer switches should all be to the left, which they are. Yeah, skip through some of this because I don't really care. Engine rating lights, don't really care. DME, don't care. Clock. Yeah. CG indicator is actually good, but he's going to be pumping fuel back when we tax ski. And that's the cockpit. The captain's checklist done. Uh, first officer's got a few other things to do, including turning these on. So we'll get these on nice and early. And the anti-stall comes on. Which is... Hiding under yeah. Uh, flight control selection. Yeah, no, this is all fine. Uh, right, we don't need to bother about any of that. Taxi lights are off. Are they? Yes. FCS, don't care. Takeoff monitor disarmed. Yeah, flight control indicators, don't care. Throttles are all the way back. Reheat is off, we've just done that. Um, trim, minus 1.5, that's fine. Okay, before start checklist. Flight control inverters need to come on. So that's that one, and it's going to ping pong at us. So I'm going to kill that. anti stalls on. Nav radios are set. Q and H, good question. Uh, active Sky, do your magic, please. One zero one five, which puts us pretty much on the ground at uh, sea level. That's good. Uh, and I'll leave the first officer on standard. It's not a huge difference anyway. So. Uh, brakes should be park unless I've kicked the pedals. Yes, they are. Throttles are idle. Nav lights can come on. Which is that one there. I feel like I've missed something at the top. Uh, so now, before... Oh no, batteries can come on. I can actually turn those on before the INSs have aligned. Uh, but not on that panel, I won't. Battery 1, battery 2. Fuel flow, TLA, set, set, set. 
Low cheat, master warning. Tell me what we can do that. Every time. PFC's given us a moan. Right, let's speed up the INSs because we're waiting on that now. So uh, I think we've given it sufficient time. So let's press the magic button. Pardon me. Oh, more TV cat. I would certainly like to get a better fix than that. So what do we got? Engine warnings. Uh, those are fine. Electric, hydraulic, that's fine. So INS. Because probably we're not on nav. Primary flight computer, probably because the INS is lit up, although I'm not sure. Stab, we haven't got any hydraulics and feel, we haven't turned it on yet. Oh, in fact, stab and artificial food we haven't turned on yet, so it's fine for those to be on. Uh, anti collision light can come on. Kachink. It's the beacon light. Beacon stroke strobe. I think it's both on this aircraft. So there is no dedicated strobe light on here. Oh, hello. There we go. Um, unless it's roof I didn't think it was I thought roof lights were the inside the cabin which we don't want on not that it matters in the slightest uh, drain master heaters, pressure static ADS heaters I'm just going to turn these on now because I always forget them Lovely jubbly, anti-ice, we certainly will not lead in Larnaca. Well, I say that. 20 degrees, no. Didn't think we would. 35% on the nav accuracy. It, it, I don't think it is actually percent, but it's between 0 and 100, so I might as well call it that. Loosely speaking. I just want to get that. I'm not going to wait till it goes all the way down to five, because um, we'll be here all blooming day. But fifteen would be nice, and we'll just do a DME update as soon as we're up in the air. To be honest, or we could do it for Heraklion or something like that. Nice to do it early on and uh, a bit of a reminder how uh, how it all works. Fifteen. As AV would say, that's good enough for the girls I go out with. So, kachink, kachink, and kachink. So, has that now? Let me clear that. Is the primary flight computer happy? No, it is not. Why is the primary flight computer not happy? Uh, well, let's load in our plan. I'm pretty sure it's not because of that. So, one, one, one. Remote on, yeah, remote's on, all three. Uh, so, I need to pull up the 2D panel to do this. So, remote is on, we're on waypoint one on all three. Click the magic screw. Can you see that? Oh, yes, you can. Larnaca to Heathrow. Huh. It's funny how that pops up first. It's just you dump them in a folder. That's all you do. And that will have loaded it into all three. Yeah, that looks good on that one. And looks good down here as well. Yeah, we have we have numbers. <clears throat> So now is the primary flight computer happy? No, it's not. I wonder if it'll be happy when we turn all of that on.
This is a bit. I'm skipping the uh, jumping the gun a little here. Why is the INS not happy? Right, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And I don't think you're supposed to do this, but 35, 52, 1, north, and then 33, 36 minutes, and 0.5 seconds east. I guess that's 50 seconds east. Um, so what I'm going to do is go into DME mode. I'm going to key that in. So what was it? 35521. 35521. Insert. East. 33365. Insert. Insert. Waypoint change 1. Enter. be surprised if that works while we're on the ground yeah we're not getting a distance time oh that's the thought that counts so why is it moaning about INS oh let's turn it off it's not a problem if you ignore it Nav, nav, nav. Air data computers are on. Nope, don't know. Uh, Debo starts will be order of the day. So they all go to Debo. And we can now get ready to actually start the engine. So we turn power off to the galleys and the like. We will turn the cross. Uh, sorry, we'll turn the packs off because we need all the air we can take, uh, and that is actually important. Uh, sometimes, not every time, but sometimes Concorde will just refuse to start your engine because there's not quite enough power, and it's because you've got one of the packs on. There's 13%. On goes the high pressure valve. There we go. Door shut. Washing machine's going to drive me nuts. What are we missing? What are we missing? No, it wasn't that. I don't need to touch any of them. Don't need to touch that yet. Not electrics. Why are we getting no ignition? So we can see there's air because the N2's spun up. N1's not doing a great deal. There's no fuel flow and there's no exhaust gas temperature. So, what was that? Oh. Hang on a minute. Kick the brakes. 
So why is there no fuel going in? We have plenty of fuel. Main pump is on. I don't think you turn the bleeds on yet, but let's uh, press a button and see what happens. Not missed anything there, not missed anything there. Not miss anything there. Open. No, it's refusing to put fuel in. Okay, if in doubt, start again. Reassess. Is it because I turn these on? No, that's all stabiliser stuff. Light control inverters, that's not going to do anything. Those things up top aren't going to do anything. I think the flight engineer has not flicked a button. Although it's more likely I've not flicked the button, but... Uh, not overly convinced it's me this time. No pressure cocks on. Yeah, the flight engineer is overriding anything I do. What have I missed? What have I missed? Who's screaming out of the computer? Right, quick check of recall. Have I... Whoops. Oh, I'm going to regret doing that. Or not. Batteries kept it going. <laughs> ah. So what does Grain Bypass actually do then? I don't know. See, one switch and the whole thing doesn't work. I think for 10 to 12 percent, something like that. I forget what the actual number is. It's around about that ballpark anyway. 10 and 12 percent, yes, it is. And at N2, 25 percent. Starter light should go out, which has done, and then Debo can go to normal. Brake fans 
So I'll zoom out there. Right, fans come on. Click. And hydraulics. Green and blue one. Thank you. Let's flip these on now before I forget. Ah, that's cleared the PFC because now we're not jammed. Why is the INS throwing an error though? That one's fine. That one's fine. This one looks fine. Let's just smash the reset button a few times. Oh, that's cleared it. Oh, there we go. Lovely. So let's set up the autopilot. So 280. Uh, oh, what's the wind? Is 286. So we'll be going off 22. Uh, flight director can come on. So let's go the other way. We'll set this onto runway heading when we actually get on it. Uh, 280 knots. Flight level 100 is fine. Pitch hold will be fine. And heading hold will be fine with Alt Acquire. Yep, cool, right, good. Progress. Uh, sort out our bleeds and then we can push. In fact, I'll tell you what we can push now. So, as we're pushing, uh, bleeds for one and two come on, cross bleeds come on for the cross bleed start. Jen is. Uh, on so we can start engines four and one using the cross bleed procedure so engine four first Close enough. In with the fuel. And engine number one. Sort out the air, so cross bleeds off, uh, engine bleeds on, packs can come back on, uh, not that one, and galley power can come back on. Excellent. 30% on the N2, so we are fully started. Light controls are all good. So, I'll tell you what, let's do the thing. So, mechanical works fine. Green system works better. Looking down here. And blue system. Is also rather spiffing. Pretty really good. We'll knock that back to green. There we are. Lovely. Uh, taxi lights can come on. And so we don't need brake fans are on. Hydraulics are good. Electrics now go to ground bypass. Ground equipment clear, visor nose down 
five degrees. My instruments, sort controls, trims, throttle master, train master, pressure starter, ADS are all on, engine control schedule is fine, uh, engine idles, low idle and engine 4 limiter is on. Let's start this puppy a rolling. Uh, did I turn the packs back on? Yes, I did. Uh, C of G is good. Taxiing's up to usual standards. What a surprise. And uh, we can start with the four takeoff checklist. So I'll remove the guard on the reheats. Transponder can be set. And tested. doing its thing, we'll check recall, recall is good oh hello still absolutely hopeless at taxiing don't know why the TCAS thing's not working either Should say TCAS system test okay. Maybe because I've already turned it. Oh, or maybe be system test okay. <laughs> because I've not turned it on. <laughs> what a dope. Taxiing on idle throttle here. Quite nice. We are heavy, we are heavier than we were out of Heathrow and with a shorter runway, but uh, we shouldn't have too much of an issue. Famous last words. Imagine you were sat in one of those little 152s or something, a little piper's ready to go out on a nice little flight around the beaches of uh, Cyprus and you just you just saw this <laughs> going past you, you'd be like, oh, I want one. I want the shiny shiny. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Oh, my days, this taxiing. So, lights on, cabin crew, oh we'll lock the cockpit door, 
chime just doesn't work for some reason. I'm sure it used to. We'll arm the reheats. And we will set the engines to high idle now. One last check of recall and we are good. Speedbird Concord 1583 runway 22. Cliff takeoff winds are 2868 knots. It is 2 2, isn't it? Yeah. And we'll use this extra bit of turning space just to give us a, a bit more uh, distance on the takeoff roll in case we need it. But I've got a feeling we'll be going up, up, and away quite quick despite our weight. Uh, as I say, we are heavy mainly because we've got this huge subsonic leg to do. Alrighty, here we go, three, two, one, now. <laughs> All the car alarms going off, that's hilarious. Here up. I know what's causing these leg spikes and I forgot to fix it. We should probably take the reheats off. I didn't realise we'd actually be over land here. Crikey, this accelerated a lot faster than I thought it was going to. I wasn't watching the airspeed. <laughs> Just come out of that view for a moment. Save all of our sanities. The warning's because we've we've oversped. That's that's all that is. <laughs> I 
There we go, we're back on the barb the pole now. We are now on our merry way. However, why are we on waypoint zero to four? Two to three. I want to be on two to three. That's my fault for not checking it, because we shouldn't be going overland. Uh, we'll go up to flight level 270 and then reassess as to when we'll do our transonic. So we are on two to three now. Actually, we might as well do zero to three. Because we're on that line. So, right. Taxi lights can come off. They should have come off a while ago. And smoke your lungs out. Yeah, we should have. We should have only just clipped this bit of land here and then gone out to sea. I didn't realise the waypoint was set up wrong. That was my fault. Uh, we want that on. Ah, timer, not chrono. Past flight level 100, so over to standard pressure orb. And our nav accuracy is superb. It's probably doing a DNA update, that's why. So I'll get us up supersonic and then we'll call it for this video, or this stint of the video. And then as I say we'll come back for uh, the transition to subsonic cruise, because that's interesting, we've not done that yet. Um, and we'll do the uh, approach into Heathrow and landing was probably the third video. So that's fine, I can get rid of that. So next we are waiting for map point seven. Oh and I've not turned the thing in my bob on. Still not turn the thing in my bob on. Turn that one. No. Oh, I'll never know.
There it is. Oh, we're already at Mach point seven. Yes, we are indeed. So, brake fans off. Flight deck door goes to normal. Wouldn't do these days. Seatbelt signs can come off. Engine control schedule. Well, we're going to be going supersonic, so we'll leave it on normal. Uh, taxi turn off lights are off, and landing lights are off. And at 55% C of G, that's when we should punch the same barrier. Which we're almost there now, actually. We're quite low, though. We're flight level 180. Uh, do I need to press any other buttons? I do not think I do. That's all. Oh, that goes to auto. Jennies are all on. That's all okay. Packs are all on. That's all good as well. Lovely. So it's almost 55% now, so we need to check the secondary nozzles are left less than 15%, which it looks like they are. It looks like they're around about 12. Let's confirm that with a tooltip, please. 11.5. Can I start pump on? Not sure. Um... Select pitch hold, pitch up to 7 to 10 degrees. So, pitch hold. I'm going to select flight level 600 here. And the burners come on. There we go. So it feels quite low to be doing this. Oh no, flight level 230. It's not too, too bad. accelerating a little bit quickly I know you noisy annoying thing So, Mac 1, a few things to do. 
Pressure static heaters come off and anti ice comes off, which it was. And windscreen heaters come off. Max Klein, Alter Choir. And we've just passed waypoint three, so we're now back on track. And for some reason, we'll actually be clipping the south side of Crete. Not sure that's supposed to have happened, but never mind. The route is what it is. As we punch through flight level 320, now going up like the proverbial rocket ship. 325. Flight level 330, still in reasonably soupy air, so we want to get a good bit higher. I want to start the timer again. CFG's come back nicely now. Do with increasing our Mac number a bit, but that that will start going up reasonably quick when we get a bit higher. Just so away, we're away from the uh, high aerodynamic drag region. That's Mac 1.1. Secondary nozzles should be zero to five degrees, which they are. And they're only just open. Or only just a smidge closed, should I say? And the ramps are not moving yet. No, nope, ramps aren't moving yet. Buckets are fully open, that's good. Which they should be with the burners on. Alright, there we go. We're starting to accelerate quite quickly now and our map number is starting to go up reasonably fast. So next up is at Mac 1.7 or 15 minutes since reheat. The virtual flight engineer should kill the reheats. Don't want them on too long because uh, they use a lot of fuel. About three times the amount of fuel. Oh, and of course we've got to do the thing, haven't we? <laughs> I'll never grow tired of that. Boom, boom. A very uh, baldric. So there we go, so our indicated airspeed has uh, shot through the roof now. And our Mach number coming up on Mach 1.5. There we go, just past Mach 1.5. Ground speed 829, 830-ish knots. And we've just punched through flight level 400. Just waiting for Mac 
which we should get to before 15 minutes and then the um, reheats can come off and we're nearly there 1.62 three past a thousand miles an hour now we are tanking it I should get for um, Concorde flights I should have a Mac number down here for you There's the reheats going off, and if I do, there we go, we can see the reheats are off now. See the ramps are moving, these ramps are coming down. So, chrono, don't care about that anymore, so I can kill that, there we go. Reheats are off. Let's just put the guard down. And FCS, we've keyed in. Flight level 600, Alt Acquire is selected, and we're on max climb. And we are actually still climbing with the reheats off and still accelerating. That's good. So up we go to cruise. Uh, we're about a third of the way between Cyprus and Crete at the moment and uh, yeah not my best take off by a long way <laughs> but uh, if I follow the checklist fully then obviously errors are significantly less likely but it gets a bit boring particularly in this bird hope you enjoyed see you shortly